dear students we are left with the last topic of chapter 3 that is plastics and the environment you may refer to the image here to read side by side with me shall we start yes when we go to a shop to buy something the shopkeeper gives those things in polythene bags yes it is seen by all of us we have observed it mineral water and soft drinks are available in plastic bottles sometimes we use disposable thermocol plates and cups in social gatherings so a lot of plastic waste is generated daily and this plastic waste keeps on accumulating in our homes ultimately plastic finds its way to the garbage plastic waste is a big threat to our environment threat means danger why is this plastic a threat to our environment the answer is this is because plastics are non biodegradable substances that cannot break down easily into simple harmless substances through natural processes such as action of bacteria so students plastics are threat to our environment because they can't be broken down into harmless simple substances they remain as it is the causes soil pollution water pollution clogs the drains uh, uh, makes the marine life uh, uneasy and a lot of other problems we know that synthetic fibers are known by degradable substances can you define biodegradable substances and give me any two examples yes as you can look in the picture and answer me it is the substance which can be easily broken down into simple harmless substances by the action of bacteria they are known as biodegradable substances for example peels of vegetables fruits leftover food stuff paper cotton cloth wool etc disposal of plastic wastes leads to a number of health and environmental hazards which are listed in the image point number 1 when plastic wastes are burnt they do not get completely burnt and produce toxic gases and smoke that cause air pollution second when plastic wastes are dumped in water they cause water pollution number 3 most of the plastic wastes are dumped in landfills which causes soil pollution since plastics buried in the soil cannot be decomposed by microorganisms they prevent rain water from seeping into the earth the water thus remains on the earth's surface forming muddy pools point number 4 the poly bags carelessly thrown here and there are responsible for clogging drains and sewer lines point number 5 we throw poly bags wrappers of chips biscuits and other eatables 
disposable plastic bottles etc on the road or in parks this not only makes the place look ugly but also provides breeding ground for many disease causing germs and insects animals eat food wastes from the garbage dumps during eating the food wastes they sometimes swallow polythene bags and wrappers of food also the plastic materials choke their respiratory system or sometimes digestive tract and can be the cause of their death point number 7 most chemicals used in the preparation of plastic can cause cancer among the workers working in the plastic manufacturing industries point number 8 during recycling of thermoplastics certain coloring agents are added it is unhygienic to keep food stuff in the recycled plastic so students on a hygienic level you must always use grade 1 plastic whether you are using a plastic for your lunch boxes or for your geometry boxes or any kind of plates or other utensils in your kitchen it must be a first grade plastic right you must keep it in mind for future use so what are the solutions to problems created by plastics as responsible citizens we must remember the golden 5r principle refuse reduce reuse recycle and recover we should develop habits which are environment friendly like we should avoid the use of plastics for example we should not ask for plastic bags when we go for shopping instead we should carry cotton or jute bags next we should clean and dry plastic bags plastic containers and plastic disposable bottles for reuse point number 3 we should use two types of bins a green bin and a blue bin for disposing wastes biodegradable wastes such as peels of fruits and vegetables leftover food paper and cotton should be thrown in the green bin non biodegradable wastes like plastic wastes and glass should be thrown in the blue bin this collected plastic is then melted and recycled point number 4 that we can follow is we should not throw plastic disposable bottles poly bags wrappers etc on the roads my dear students you are well aware of swachhta abhiyan in india started by our prime minister narendra modi ji so by discarding the use of plastic we may be a volunteer in this swachhta abhiyan so right from today we should ban plastic use in our daily lives to the maximum extent we can you know every drop in the ocean counts so we must gear up ourselves to contribute to our environment and save our earth so are you there to help keeping earth neat and clean